And ladies and gentlemen, dear colleagues, dear friends of the Club de Madrid, special welcome to Bill Clinton. It was 10 years ago, in October 2001, that the Club de Madrid was born. It was Kim Campbell who on October 27, at the end of the Conference on Democratic Transition and Consolidation, read the resolution that gave birth to the Club de Madrid. Ten years later now, with this year's annual conference and this gala dinner, we wanted to bring the Club de Madrid once more to the United States of America, to New York. We are here tonight to celebrate our anniversary of the Club de Madrid and to honor Bill Clinton with the Club de Madrid Democracy Award. And I'll come back to that in a few minutes' time. The world had crossed a major tipping point in October 2001. The organizers, Friede and the Gorbachev Foundation of North America, showed courage by convening a dialogue on democracy only weeks after 9-11. Many of the challenges of then are still high on the international agenda. The technological revolution to which we have devoted our annual conference this year, the proliferation of democracy and diversity, global poverty and inequality, climate change, global health threats, economic crisis, social and political instability and, of course, terrorism and security. The Club de Madrid was created 10 years ago to foster the transition and consolidation of democracy and to help address the many challenges those processes face with the aim to turn them into opportunities. Because, as President Clinton said during the 2001 conference, those of us who have gathered here believe that the limits of the human condition prevent any of us from ever having the whole truth. We believe that life is a journey of searching and moving closer towards the truth. We know that we actually have a lot to learn from each other and everyone's life deserves a chance to make that journey." End of quote. The Club de Madrid contributes to that journey by making accessible to all the leadership experience of its members, all of whom have been in the forefront, walking the walk in their respective countries. And because we believe that all human beings share common hopes, we believe that democracy that delivers is the best route to navigate the journey to fulfill these hopes. During the last 10 years, we have implemented a lot of global and regional projects on a number of themes. I won't mention all these themes. And our members have worked and are still working with political society leaders in a huge number of countries. Many of these give us good reasons for hope and assurance that we walked and still walk on the right path. The Arab Spring, the greater respect we now have for planet Earth and human rights, the waves of solidarity I've seen in Aceh or Haiti or whatsoever, or the new paradigms being discussed for global governance are also reasons to believe that our human condition does not just impose limits, but it's also the best way and most important reason to embark on the journey President Clinton told us about in 2001. We are grateful and proud that the Club de Madrid has contributed to this progress and to the ideas that support them. We have learned that we are but a tile in a mosaic, in a mosaic, but we are confident that our contribution has been positive and real. All our activities are possible only because of the commitment of the Club de Madrid members. Their individual and collective experience is very unique. The now more than 85 members of the Club de Madrid come from over 60 countries and hence bring a very broad political experience. And I'm sure you will join me in thanking the members of our organization for their work, the long travels, their engagement and bountiousness. 
if I may share a secret with you, many of us in the Club de Madrid are often asked to discuss our time in office in the media, in universities and in conferences. But it's only in the confidence of the Club de Madrid and during its activities that we share what is most valuable, what we now wish we had done or what we now know we should have done. Tonight, we want to honor one of our members who, after leaving office, has been bold and daring in speaking of his shortcomings and, more importantly, in sharing his wisdom, only hoping that others will do better for the good of all. Honorary Chair President Bill Clinton represents a sincere, practical, and open-handed commitment to the democratic values the Club de Madrid upholds. Because we were both in office in the same time frame, please allow me to say personally how wonderful it was to work with President Clinton, such a great man, with such profound democratic values and the conviction that all humans deserve good. And since you left the White House, you continue to be a source of inspiration for millions and a shining example of what former political leaders can do for mankind all over the globe. If anyone deserves our second Club de Madrid Democracy Award, it's you, President Clinton, and nobody else. The first one was for President Nelson Mandela, and you will get a few minutes later the second one for on our behalf. In conclusion, my dear friends and ladies and gentlemen, I want to thank the many that make the work of the Club de Madrid possible. Indeed, many private and public institutions, private citizens, companies and governments value our work as conveners, discreet advisors, advocates or political sounding boards and provide us with resources to implement our projects. Our gratitude goes to them all. And the, all those supporters are here today represented by one sponsor, Telefonica, a global communications company present in 25 countries with almost 300 million customers. If anything, democracy is about communication, about listening to the ideas of others and sharing your own ideas. I thank Telefonica for believing in the power of communication and for sponsoring this gala. Dear friends, ladies and gentlemen, let's enjoy the food, enjoy the entertainment, enjoy the conversation, and have a wonderful evening. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs>